Hey, we're at the Gatorland Collectibles Expo. I mean, if there's a card show that represents Florida, this is probably it, especially with the name. It's kind of a crazy card show weekend, though. I know there's the large show in Philly this weekend. There's also a show in Tampa and Orlando. There's probably a few other Florida shows, probably like four or five, at least in the central Florida region, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but the reason why I chose this one here today is this is the first show here in Ocala. For me, I'm looking for new dealers that set up because that means brand new inventory. A lot of the same dealers set up at other shows, so I kind of know what to expect, but going to a new show, you never know. Also, I do have a table here I'm setting up with Mark. I've seen him in the Clearwater Card Show vlog and also the Villages. He runs a show over there, so we're going to be able to give you guys a dual vlog today, both from a buyer's perspective and also as a dealer. So let's go around the show and see what we get. A little hit here and there. Yeah. Which Reggie Jackson was it? No, I didn't. Check that out. All right, here's your the three legendary New York center fielders. And we got a stand usual here. Well, the box is stand usual. Whitey, Reggie, Rizzuto, Yogi, Derek Jeter, Don Mattingly. <laughs> Gotta get some ball cubes. <laughs> oh man, look at this. <laughs> Here we go, brother. Where's that? Yeah, that one's super cool. Everything on there, wow. So then Stan Musial wrote everything on there like that as well? Yeah, that's when they when they're in their hand, that's and he had a field day with this one. Reggie Jackson uh, company was in the 90s. 2000s. This is this one's pretty special. A 3,000, a 300 Steiner Sports, 300 game winner. That's pretty cool. They even put the number how many they have. You want me to put what's it for? Just card? Yeah, just for cards. So we ended up selling these three over here for 210. First off, we have the Dwayne Wade. I originally was going to keep this card, but because I upgraded into the Tom Morris, decided to put this up for sale. Sold Larry first card show. It's such a cool card with the glass. And then two other cards from my PSA sub. We got the Ali and an 8, which, as funny enough, this was a garage sale find a while back. The whole set was in rubber bands, so it's kind of incredible. It's still getting 8 on it. It's a pretty cool card. And then another D Wade right over here that got a 7. So 210 for the 3. There you go. The box, they're on. I'm gonna start with these. Okay. This was in that lot that I bought uh, from the villages. Was it? There's a bunch of vintage football in it. I don't really know anything about it. But it was in there, of course. I always have people ask me for Jim Browns, so figure to pick and one as up. I'm like pricing like guys like Bob Gibson you know is good but Jim Brown is 
better than Bob Gibson. Oh, he's like the he's like the mantle of football, or like they're not worth anything. Like in comparison, they're just yeah. You would think. So I get four seventy two. Yep. So three thirty, perfect. I'll get you now. Pick up that ten card lot through the vintage value bin for. $330, so about $33 a card. There's some big ones in there. Uh, for example, the Jim Brown, can't go wrong with that. And also the 1960 Louis Mays. But all that stuff will end up moving pretty fairly easily. These are cards that I get asked about quite a lot. All right. I'm not sure. I think so, four or five. What do you have on that Tom Brady? Seventy five hundred cash. Best offer, so. It's, it's numbered at ten, so it's not. Did you get it? Yeah, I think so. Do you need the Wi-Fi password? I just got it. Probably so. All right, I'll go back and get a picture of it. Yeah, man, thanks, man. No problem. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey. Go to snag this 2020 Pete Alonzo autograph for $80. It's numbered to 50. The design of this might seem familiar. It's from the 1951 red and blue backs that Topps created. Let's keep making some deals. Two quick pickups in the $25 box. We got a Luciano on card autograph and also a Manning rookie from Contenders. So I'm not buying this, it is on my table. Really, really cool. It's a 1988 test issue, a full sheet from Topps Cloth. Very few of these are out there. There's a few Hall of Famers on there and rookie cards. An absolutely incredible piece. I pan over it to show you guys. And like, this is the type of stuff that you see at shows and you just have to stop and stare at it because you're most likely not gonna see another one for a few years, if not for the rest of your life because these things never get out there to the public. It should be. Yeah, you just won't you won't find sheets, man. They just don't exist. I gotta figure out how to iron this to get it. Like how much are those favors? Um, Pete Rose. <laughs> This is a little present. Oh, Wade Boggs Hall of Famer, Winfield Hall of Famer. Oh, will you stick it in? Yeah. Tony Gwynn Hall of Famer. Yep. Yeah. Good for that. We had a real save. So I'm going to read the letter. You want to go with the letter? You're not going to take it. So that was lesson one. Next lesson was. Uh, so the next thing he had is 40 bucks, he spent it on five hundred. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 A lot of money. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's going to be the case for the rest of your life. Can I take a look at your 66 man little solo book? This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I ended up doing these two and a Ted Williams with cash, where do you be at about? Um, oh, no. I do. Um, Dad, can you grab these? I found a way to open the doors. Okay. I just need, uh, to... Oh, wow. Uh, 30... 3200. Let's do it. That's what I was thinking. You. Awesome. Enjoy. I will. Let me know what you get for the TED in Boston. I'm really curious how that'll do up there. It's cool. One. It is. <laughs> First TED Williams card I've gotten for the rookie. Not many of them out there. There so. isn't, no. <laughs> I know one day I want to get at least like a four or five in my PC. Yeah. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. Good you luck. Too. Thanks. So we ended up closing the deal, 3,200 for the three cards. And I wanna let you guys know my strategy with this Ted Williams. Two Boston shows coming up, well, not technically Boston. One's in Springfield, Massachusetts. The other one is in Boston, but Ted Williams, extremely popular player up there in the Northeast. So my goal with this card right here is to get a trade lot. I'm hopefully, someone comes to the show that's looking for a Ted Williams rookie card. It's a bunch of different vintage cards and we're gonna be able to do a cash plus cards trade. Otherwise, I do think I'll be able to sell it, but pick up these three for $3,200 was a no-brainer, some really great inventory. And that's a wrap for the Ocala Card Show. Make sure to click on this video right here to see another show at the Villages. Here I picked up two iconic T206 cards.